Australia to fight against him, he was very, very, very ready and he gave me a lot of problems and it forces me to be even better for, for the next fight. But, uh, I think I did, I did uh, the job well, uh, I won that fight, I really do think, but uh, that was a close fight though. It looked like a, the leg bothered you a couple of times. Were there any issues either, either coming into the fight with your leg or was it just his kicks? What do you mean? Like, it looked like maybe you stumbled a little bit or the leg buckled a little bit a couple of times. Oh, that was because I'm very, very uh, flexible. So I'm kind of losing my balance sometimes. And, and you said that you felt comfortable. I mean, a lot of people were saying, hey, this fight was closer. The 30-27 definitely was a little bit bizarre. But did you know at the end you had done enough to, to win? Yeah, close fight. I think you think uh, I won that fight. Hola. Hello, Tom. A tough, tough fight tonight. Were you expecting? Were you expecting a three-round war? Or are you disappointed that you weren't? You you, you couldn't find a finish? Or how happy are you with the performance at all? You always have to. To, to talk with your coach right after the fight and see what went uh, good and what went wrong. You know, that's uh, exactly what we're doing right now. As, uh, we had already a discussion with my coach. Uh, glad for certain things, but uh, uh, I'm more focused on the things I didn't do well, so I'm focused on it um, in order to be better for the, for the next fight. Is it a case that is it a case that you go straight back into straight back into the gym, look for another fight fairly quick, or are you going to take a little bit of time, look at the footage, and iron out the mistakes? Yeah, a little bit of vacation, maybe ten or fifteen days. I think on the Greek islands, <laughs> I, I need to finish my first book uh, concerning my first um, MMA preparation. So it will be released soon in France. So I have to finish that, and uh, right uh, right after uh, I will be uh, back at training. And um, focusing on the on the, all the things uh, from the from that uh, fight. Hey Tom. Um, hey. You know, you you you're one of a, a bunch of fighters that are either from France or have a, have a French background. Can you give us an update on what is going on in France at the moment in terms of the, the legalization of MMA and what perhaps you and others like you can help to kind of speed things along there? Actually, with the changing of government, with uh, the Macron government, it's a new government, young people over there, it's actually our, our best way to get it legalized. Things are moving in a, in a positive way. Um, I work uh, with the UFC hand-to-hand -hand, uh, through seminars and conference to, to, to help develop it, so giving the good image of uh, MMA, but not a good image, the good image, because all the values, you know, MMA has been a... Um, a sport that uh, helps me to um, to improve my life, um, uh, an elevator, a social elevator, and uh, um, that was the occasion for me to to realize all my dreams that I have since the very beginning. So I'm trying through seminars uh, to explain this to people and. Uh, Sometimes you go to the um, to the really deep uh, in France, and you you can see people like uh, a Sunday uh, afternoon in the middle of nowhere. They are uh, they are 100 to to come to my seminars. It's getting huge. We are we are a land of uh, ma martial arts. You can see our level in judo, in boxing, everywhere. The the Olympics. We are always. Uh, on top, you know, so it will come, but it's uh, still a power struggle, and uh, as it is uh, administration things, it, it always take uh, a while, you know. And uh, when we spoke earlier on in the week, you said it was just pure circumstance because of when this fight was booked for London that you actually stayed in Paris to train. Is the, the plan to eventually get back out to Jackson Wink in Albuquerque? Yes, we will see. So that time uh, the fight uh, was announced when I was in Paris, so that was the occasion for me to uh, to explore um, striking because we are definitely we have definitely a high level in France, uh, Savati, uh, Muay Thai, boxing. So that was the occasion for me to to explore or and improve those uh, those um, areas of the fight. So that's what we're, we were doing. Thank you. Um, Tom, are you f over here to your left? I can't believe I just said hey, that. Hey, 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 over here, hello. Um, are you frustrated with your run in the UFC recently because you were finishing guys very impressively with Europe, uh, in Europe? Have you been shocked at the maybe the level or the standard of people that you're facing here? 
the level is high in the UFC. We are kind of always all at, at the same level, just little details and uh, mental shape uh, does the difference during the fight. So that's what I think. And do you think it's going to be long before you're at that stage again against these higher level guys and maybe with emphatic finishes? That's uh, exactly what I'm doing. You know, the, the guy uh, tonight was a really tough, high level fighter, never been knocked out, high level boxer. So we have to give him credit. Thank <laughs> you.